So you're a boy. Now what? Come on. Got no mother in the world, cause she's not sure if you're a boy or a girl. Hey, babe, your hair's all right. From the middle of America hey, babe, emerges an extraordinary up. story. You like me. About yeah. discovering a place to call home. What do you see in him? <laughs> you wouldn't even believe it. Something's totally weird. And finding the courage. Why don't you leave the lady alone? I don't want any trouble here. You will. Yeah, you're gonna have a shiner in the morning. I am. To be yourself. There's just something about him. Fox Searchlight Pictures presents Boys Don't Cry, a remarkable new film based on the life and death of Brandon Tina. In an amazing tour de force performance, actress Hilary Swank became Brandon Tina. When I got the film and I started rehearsing and preparing for the role, I wasn't trying to define what Tina Brandon was. <laughs> what is the matter with you? I don't know. You are not a boy. I was just trying to play it as a person who was pursuing their dream. You don't seem like you're from around here. Where do I seem like I'm from? Someplace beautiful. Action! First time feature director Kimberly Pierce set off on a five year journey researching the life of Brandon Tina. And she took it upon herself to reinvent herself into her fantasy of a boy. I've been bored my whole life. <laughs> yeah? Is that why you let John tie you up to the back of a truck and drag you around like a dog? No. I just thought that's what guys do around here. There's something so poignant about Brandon's desire that it's difficult not to feel sympathy for him. Chloe Sevigny plays Lana, the girl who accepted Brandon for who he was. She saw Brandon and Brandon was this, you know, incredible boy who was not like anybody else she'd ever met. I can't sing to save my life. Me neither. What? Sure you can, you sang great. She sort of saw him as her escape, you know, and, and all his ideas and how much, you know, enthusiasm he had for life and, you know, she never had that before. I just think they had something really unique and that is the center of the story. He was like a reflection of people's dreams and Hillary captured it beautifully. To me, the film is just really about finding your true self and having the courage and the drive to follow through with being yourself and living that to its fullest. You're like a little movie star yourself. <laughs> John's perspective on the world is limited, and he's obsessed with Lana. She's beautiful, isn't she? He, in effect, gives Brandon Lana. And I can't think of a better guy to give Lana to than you. One of the most interesting things about the story is that these guys were friends with Brandon. <laughs> Don't stop. Don't stop. Go faster. John is violent, and yet Brandon is drawn into that violence. He almost got us killed. I almost got us killed. The Dustless Highway is a real thing. You drive into the dust, and it's like driving into a dream, just spinning this beautiful cloud for people to disappear into. And Brandon got lost in there. Kimberly, you know, wanted to show Brandon being accepted and letting someone love him. The greatest thing about Chloe was she absorbed the role. I had a dream about you last night. What happened? Someone walked me home. I think it was you. And then eventually, everything came crashing down. You can't just keep running. You're going to end up in jail. Brandon, what's going on? You want the truth, don't you? There were time bombs waiting to explode. He's got her brain wall. We can work this out. You know, we do liars. Fox Searchlight Pictures presents a story about the courage to be yourself. This is a story of love and acceptance and being who you really are with all of your heart and all every cell in your body being who you are and not conforming to what it is other people think you should be. So what are you gonna tell them? I'm gonna tell them what they wanna hear. I'm gonna tell them what we know is true.